After a little bit of investigation, it turns out that we actually went for a 37 mile bike ride. We thought it was 37 kilometers and it turns out we were wrong. It's yeah. 37 miles. Today's a very bittersweet day. It's our last and final day that we had this thing. This morning, we're trading it out for something... Maybe cooler. And a lot more eco-friendly. Okay, so these are e-bikes, and what e-bikes are, they're electric bikes, meaning they're for people like me who are horrible at biking and can't get up the hills. These actually have kind of like a motor that propels you up the hills. So when I'm struggling, oh, trying to get up the hill, this bike will carry me up with almost no effort. So we get to use these for the next two days. I'm so excited. Thank you, e-bike Maoria, for making this happen. Wow. Ready for it? Now this is the real test right here. <laughs> Jets you up the hill, that's so cool. It's like, oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, so our idea today is to ride around the entire island with these. That's like 37 kilometers or something. And it might start raining on us. We absolutely love this island and we're really sad to leave here on Thursday. So we are taking one last trip around the island on our e-bikes and we brought, <laughs> you can't see it, but we brought a speaker so that we can blast some awesome classic rock. We're actually taking our cue from the locals. Whenever you drive by the locals, they're, if they're on a bike, they've got their music blasting. And so we're gonna do the same thing. After a small test in the parking lot where we received our bikes, I think we're both getting the hang of this. I just wanted to quickly explain this bike. We just took a stop for a drink of water at the water well where we get our water from. I wanted to just kind of show you quick the bike's controls so that you knew what we were doing. This is my on off switch right here and this is how I go through the different sections here. Right there is our screen that shows our kilometers an hour and what we're doing and we're in standard mode and I can change that to high mode or back down to the beginning which is eco mode and eco eco mode. High is pretty intense like the power goes really high. We've been using standard mode. Next we have our gears. If you've never been like a awesome bike this puts your gears down to a first gear and that's your low gear so you can go faster or slower. This knob is just a pretty to look at because I'm not gonna touch it and I don't know what it does and that's why. No, that's not a button, it's just this thing, which I don't know what that is. And then we can adjust our shocks right here, which is pretty great because I'm heavier and the shocks really work for me. And right down in between our legs right here, we have our battery for the power. And it looks like mine, along with Laura's, just went down a notch, so we're gonna get going. Keep going around the island. No kickstands for these bikes, so you just set them down, you know, gently. But we decided to stop off at this really cool church, but it's pretty sweet. It's got like the best background ever.
while we were riding, I just figured out what that little button was that I don't want to touch on my bike. I found out it's a bell. <laughs> That's awesome. I got a dinger. I don't know if that's what I, okay. Hello? The speed limit's 60. We're, we're breaking that 25 marker. I'm gonna try no hands. Did you know I can do that? No, that was like professional, babe. I know. Just took another stop for some more water. We're at 18.5 or just around 20 kilometers and the battery has gone down another tick. Let's go, keep going. Check out this blue water, this is insane. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. What happened? It's good. Yeah. We just pulled over for a coconut for a snack. That's Tahiti. Battery is down another another button. Check this out, this is the ferry that comes back and forth between Papiete and Maoria like 55 times a day. Save it for the end. So we're gonna save it for the end. We're gonna cover some ground here and bring you back here in just a little bit. Biking around the whole island wasn't the easiest thing we've ever done. But with e-bike Maoria, we were able to do it. Cool. Here's yeah. the owner helping us map out our adventure. Good idea. Yeah. Yep. 
We started here, and using electric bikes, we went around the whole line. By the time we got here, we knew we only had to get around the bay and decided to make up some ground. We just got done. Well, that was a great workout. A little tough. Usually I'm pretty good with physical activity. Like I, in sixth grade I was voted most likely to win an Olympic gold medal. But that was so hard. It was so fun, but I'm going to be really sore tomorrow, and look at my legs. Like, are you kidding? It started pouring rain on us. Yeah, that was the other part. Oh. Pretty much as soon as we got done, oh, it's starting to rain again. Pretty much as soon as we got to where we uh, had to make some ground, it started dumping rain on us. So, long story short, don't bike it unless you do have an electric bike. One. And two, have a good time. I don't want that noise in there. We literally live where no one comes, and yet for some reason we decide to record and two bikes have to drive by us. Just saying. And it might start raining on us, but we're prepared with waterproof skin. I don't, that, it's not, it's not waterproof. It is, it goes right off of me. But just note that there are dogs on this island that do not like bikers. My new hairstyle. Looks like this tree behind me is part of my hair. Wait for it! <laughs> what did you do? I clapped a wheelie! Laura, how would you rank your biking skills? Three. One out of ten. Oh. Okay. You got coconut all over it. It's not really like a sugar. There's no sticky. I pretty much could wash my clothes in coconut though. It smells so good. Rank it. Okay. Zero to ten. I would say probably eight. If it was easier to get down and easier to open, it would get a solid ten out of ten. What do you think? I think that's just as like complicated as not brie cheese, but like think of another like high, high maintenance. maintenance. Yeah, high like maintenance. pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. I like pineapple's this easy. And then coconut, that was not very easy. You know, there's got to be better ways. I think they've improved on that since, you know, humanity. But thank you to this rock for assisting us. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've used this camera way too many times and it's already about to die. I'd just like to say how epically wrong I was. I really thought it would be completely effortless and I am dying. I am the worst biker in the world. I can run as far as the road will take me, but I cannot bike to save my life.